So yeah, guys, what's going on? Uh, Fuad Abdi here with another video. Um, haven't really done one of these before. Uh, pretty much I've done a lot of talking head videos, so I thought I'd go for a walk and why not do my first vlog, right? So uh, let's go on for the walk and uh, let me know how you guys like this video. All right, let's go. Okay. Hope it's not too cold outside. Kind of wearing just like a light jacket, windbreaker. Oh, whatever. It's not that bad, actually. Whoa, exposure has gone wild here. Let me fix that real quick. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. You guys gotta bear with me a little bit here because um, I'm kind of just getting into videography and uh, photography. And um, I'm what you guys would probably call a noob when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I'm really just kind of figuring out the basics. Um, well, that's a lie, actually. I'm not really a noob, um, played around with it for a little bit, but definitely not an expert. Uh, still gotta learn a lot of different things, especially shooting in manual focus. A lot of times, I was the kind of person who would literally just shoot everything in auto. So auto focus, auto aperture, auto everything pretty much, auto exposure. And um, you know, just kind of like watching different people who are super, super successful online, who are putting out some crazy cinematography. And one thing I realized is that they all shot manual. I figured just, you know, the next step of evolution, if I want to get better, I had to learn how to shoot manual. So this is pretty much what I've been doing for the past couple days now, I'd say. And um, getting better at it. Still got a long way to go, but uh, you know, can't complain. Wow, it's pretty cold out here today. Should have wore a bigger jacket. It's Canada, what can you do? Toronto, repping the Raptors, of course. So I guess one of the things that I uh, really wanted to talk to you guys about was sharing why I kind of came on YouTube and why I decided to vlog. And uh, I guess it really just came out of the fact that I really wanted to do something different. I mean, when you really think about it, you kind of get into this like lifestyle of going to work, coming home, doing the same old, same old every single day. And then you get to do certain activities over the weekend. But uh, personally for me, and again, not just work guys, but it could be school, it could be whatever. But uh, for me personally, it's been different, man. Like uh, I've always wanted to do something different. I've always wanted to do something more. And uh, don't get me wrong, I have a great career. Uh, I love my job. You know, I can see myself doing that for a long time. But uh, I've always wanted something different something to challenge me something to make me grow and uh, i never really knew what else to focus on i've done a lot of different things i've been a day trader still am a day trader uh to some extent don't trade as much as i used to but still do it occasionally from time to time it's kind of like uh, once you have that skill you don't really lose it but um i really just wanted to do something different and growing up as a kid i was pretty creative i was really big into art really big into uh, you know, drawings and paintings and graphic design. And I uh, never really went into any kind of art field. I ended up settling for, well not settling, but you know, going into business and IT because someone once told me that business is where all the money is and IT is the way of the future. So put them together, you can have money for a long time. <laughs> so that's kind of my thought process when I decided what I wanted to study and what kind of field I wanted to go into. And then that kind of uh, morphed into selling technology because sales is a pretty lucrative industry. So that's kind of where I went into. But I've always still had that passion inside to, to be artistic, right? To create stuff, to do things. And uh, never really found that after I left art. So what happened was a couple of months ago, um, just kind of thinking about all the different things that I've done in the past and back in 2012 as you guys probably know from watching my first video I started a, uh, a YouTube channel and um, what I did was I used to post motivational videos different things like that and uh, what happened was I guess life got in the way and I guess like my ego kind of got crushed as well to be honest because I started posting a bunch of content had probably like I don't know five six seven videos and uh, I wasn't really getting any views, no engagement. Nobody really noticed. So I kind of felt discouraged a little bit and um, did what most people do in that kind of situation is I stopped. 
one of the biggest things I regret because 2012 was a long time ago. So then fast forward to a couple months ago, I decided that YouTube is a great platform. I use it for a lot of different things, obviously. I'm always watching videos on how to and a bunch of other things, to be honest. So I thought YouTube is a great platform. Why don't I give it another shot? Why don't I get back on and this time do it right? Because in the past, I didn't have good production. I didn't have good video quality. And um, I think that also kind of translated to not getting a lot of views and engagement. So I ended up buying my first professional camera, which was the Sony a6400. And the reason why I came to that conclusion was I was just doing a lot of research online, watching a lot of videos. And um, I saw a lot of great videos about how this camera was great for entry level. Um, novice professionals you can say that want to get into videography photography and want to create content online so what I did was I essentially went online saw the camera and made the purchase now it was a big noob mistake because I had no idea what I was doing all right so I bought this camera and I thought boom once I get this camera I can just like you know pop it out of the box and start recording you know kick-ass content and posting it online and getting a lot of views little did I know that the lenses that come with it or the the kit lens as they call it was garbage basically and so what I had to do was invest in the lens so I ended up buying a couple of decent lenses not really knowing what I was doing again bought a couple of ones that I shouldn't have but hey that's life right so I started learning a little bit more, invested more time into watching more videos, understanding the basics of, you know, things like ISO, aperture, shutter speed, etc. Anybody who's into photography, videography will know that kind of stuff. So that's what I had to learn and understand, you know, understanding exposure, lighting, all that crazy stuff. And then that's where I started posting videos. So here I am today, just uh, recording a bunch of videos for you guys, trying to grow that way. I also had to like figure out how to have good audio and that really required me to invest in a decent mic and um, just learning how to like edit with Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro whichever one you prefer I chose Premiere Pro and that's where I am today so right now as I said before I'm still pretty much noobish but I'm pretty happy with my progress so far pretty happy with uh, my learning curve and how I'm learning to edit how I'm learning to handle things manually so I uh, hope that continues and I hope you guys keep following me on this journey. You know, another thing that I really want to talk to you guys about on this uh, vlog or on my walk today was uh, the recent news of the passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna. Tragic news. It's crazy because I really didn't think that a passing of a celebrity or an athlete would really affect me the way that this did. Growing up, playing a lot of basketball, every single day after school watching ball from a very very young age kind of just thinking back to you know some of the the role models and the stars that or the role models and the people that we look up to as kids kobe was right there right he was like my generation's you know michael jordan you know kobe was like the, the kind of player that we all grew up watching and kind of idolizing and you know to some extent hating at times because he was just so damn good and I think, you know, when you when you get to know a player like that and you see him and you start watching him and you're seeing him grow on TV. I mean, he came into the league when he was, you know, 17 years old, 96 if, I, if I'm correct. And, um, you know, I remember that and I was a kid and I remember watching Kobe and I remember watching him, you know, struggle his first couple seasons in Lakers and, but still having that, you know, that mentality that he was gonna be a great player. I'm a, I'm a mindset guy like I I believe in working on your mindset and developing that rock solid mindset to, to be successful in everything that you're doing hey guys yeah <laughs> I hope I have a million subscribers one day but I'm, I'm I'm growing it's not a lot but it's growing my YouTube channel it's uh if you type in Fuad Abdi that's it's probably hard to find but um, it's my name Fuad Abdi yeah no worries take care guys don't forget to subscribe <laughs> yeah so some kids just uh, saw me vlogging and uh, had some questions but yeah where was I yeah the like Kobe Bryant was was that player for us 
growing up. Like I remember, you know, he was a kid coming to the league. We saw him struggle. We saw him develop. We saw him win titles with Shaq, you know, three peats. We saw him have battles and feuds with Shaq and Shaq leaving and you know, and then him going through some struggles and then coming back and dominating with Pagasol. Like we really saw Kobe grow up in this league. We saw his struggles, uh, his successes, his adversities. And I feel like we all felt that we really knew him on a personal level. Kind of looking at that and realizing that he just ended his career recently. He was really starting to to find his his purpose outside of basketball and uh, for something like that to happen so suddenly so tragically I mean it really really hit me and a lot of people I don't know if we'll ever see another player like Kobe Bryant that can instill that kind of like Mamba mentality in a lot of you know players a lot of you know fans rival fans but uh, I hope his family as well, his, uh, his wife and other th three daughters. And um, I hope we can learn something from this. The biggest takeaway really for me is that life is short. Life is really, really short. And it's important to do what you love. It's important to, to give it your all because you really don't know. You don't know how much time you're given on this planet. So, you know, make the most of it. Enjoy it. Cherish the ones that, that you love that are there for you be good to everybody you know, hopefully we're remembered and uh, cherished the same way Kobe Bryant was that's pretty much all I really had for you guys today on this walk I'm getting close to getting back home oh, man it's freezing this probably was a bad idea to come out today just because of the weather but I really wanted to give you guys a little perspective into like my world and you know, forget all the, the talking head videos and the, the planned videos that we put out there, but you know, just a conversation, a little walk, conversation, walk and talk. So let me know how you guys like this video. Again, um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. You know, I really hope that you guys can come along with me on this journey to, to building something great. I don't know where this is gonna go, to be honest. I'm just out here putting out content, you know, have really no expectations, but uh, I hope that we can blow it up and do something great and look back probably like five, 10, maybe even 15 years from now and say that we've built an amazing community. And uh, I've maybe at that point, you can probably say that I've added some kind of value to your life. That's my goal. All right, guys, back at the crib. And I will see you again in the next video. Peace.